Hey guys, welcome back to my vlog. I hope you enjoy it. This is from Sunday night until... Yeah, it's either Sunday night or Monday morning until Wednesday. Actually, Thursday morning. But uh, Wednesday night. Alright, I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and uh, we will see y'all later in the week. Bye, guys. Y'all, we made a fire pit. Trey made a fire pit. By the house. How's up? Yeah, Trey, well, Trey and Zoe did. Whenever your uncle's around, his uncle's around, it's always funny as hell. Daddy, will you go get my black vape out the house? I'm so happy we got a camera. For, we got. Did he tell you we got a camera for outside? Yeah, it's a mo it's motion activated. I'm so happy because I want to know who fucking did his plants. It'll go over the, we're putting it right here, so it'll go all over the porch, plus the garden. It'll go all the way down to the cars. And like, if like if it's motion toward this way, and somebody comes up on the porch, it'll switch, like it follows you, wherever you go. My friend has the same one, but he uses it inside. And there's an app on your phone, so like if somebody is on your porch, it comes up to knock on your door, and you're not home. It'll pop up a notification on your phone, and you can look, and you can watch it from your phone. Which is cool, because if we're not here, and somebody knocks on the door, or packages come or something, we can see. My fucking Amazon package came today, and I didn't even fucking know. Hey, babe, we can put our tent up out here. What? Why couldn't we? What? I mean to camp over the weekend. Why couldn't we? You said we could set it up here. I ain't worried about it over there. We can set it over here. Trey, right, come over here and rake this shit over here so I can put my tent up. Give me the damn rake. I'll do it. Here, record. Want me to record you raking? This is all rock. <laughs> yeah, it's mostly rocks. Whoa! Did you get that? <laughs> yeah. Don't fall. I'm stuck. Yeah, well, undo your foot. <laughs> you see how tired that was? That's what she does to me all the time. She'll trip on something. All she has to do is 
is let it go, but she held it and was like, I'm stuck. Save me. <laughs> so what? Leave me alone. You're so fucking spoiled. I don't care. Get her. You're spoiled ass. Look into the camera and tell the world you're fucking spoiled. Yeah, I know. Everybody knows I'm spoiled. Okay, I'm done. No more for today. Yeah, I can't. Ooh. This is a fucking eight-hour job. You can't wait for five minutes. Fuck no! Bye, Felicia. Do you see this? Do you see this? <laughs> it's only been two days. What's only been two days? Three days. What are you talking about? Fucking. She ain't work. Nigga. Woo! Oh <laughs> shit, brother. That's just my fucking tripping ass hairs. Instead of rolling back. <coughs> yeah, but see, that's manual fucking labor, yo. I can't do that shit. Imagine that time a thousand when I do work. <laughs> yeah, you're not carrying your child. I am. You do. <laughs> what? I carry you. You're heavy burning throughout the day. Don't record. Yeah, that is true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Much better. Now somebody just gotta climb up there and take that part off. Yeah, good luck with that. I bet you Trey will do it. Don't do it right now. Not right now. All you have to do is jump up on the box, jump up on the house, and jump up on the tree. Why? I do. You're right. Christy! <laughs> Hey girl. Hey girl. How is uh, Myrtle Beach? I told her, look how tan she is. You're not even tan, you're like red tan. Red tan. <laughs> She's like, a, she was like an idiot. That's because I was, I was on the beach on Friday and I burned. Oh, that's like me when we went camping. Yeah. Remember when we went camping, how fucking burned I was? We definitely needed you around here though. Ah! Shit, we're yeah. crazy. Did you hear what uh, happened? Yeah, yeah. I needed another female. <laughs> like, what this? Do like five, ten hits on one side and then switch over. All right, y'all. We're done. Good morning, guys. It is Monday morning, like 11.30. <laughs> I still got shit in my hair. <laughs> Gel and shit. Anyway, God, I need to dye my roots so bad. Anyway, I'm doing my hair straight today, hence why it looks like this. I gotta put a little bit of this miracle stuff in it. And then I'm going to blow dry it here in a little bit and do it. Right now, I'm. Why else is a fucking disaster, yo? Um, <laughs> right now, I am doing my planner shit. I just woke up. I've been sick all morning long. Like, literal, all fucking morning. But. Right now, I am doing my planner stuff, um, filling out my planners, you know, doing my Instagram, all that good shit that I gotta do before uh, you know, before I to keep up with my Social media is following, you know. So, where did I put that stuff? I thought I left it right here. Everyone, my pregnancy underwear and a t shirt is all I'm wearing right now. Um, but I thought I had this shit right here. Anyway. Yeah, so I am going to be posting on my Insta. If you're not following me on Instagram, you need to be because I post on my stories every day. Um, I post every day 
Hence why I have a social media planner so that I can keep that shit straight and know what I do. I hope y'all enjoyed the vlog yesterday. I'm very sorry, or this morning. I'm very sorry that <laughs> some of it was left over. I mean, you know, I posted it. Stuff that was left over, or the same shit, sorry. I broke two nails. I'm going to take them off and redo them tomorrow. Cheers. Daryl is in Pittsburgh. It worked today. So. The next clip you're going to see is from last night from them building the fire pit. Oh my god, they were crazy. <laughs> so. But anyway. Alright guys, I will see y'all a little later. Bye! Hey guys, so I did my hair straight. I've been sleeping all day. I'm fucking sick of shit today. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. But I'm so fucking sick I can't deal with it. Oh, sorry. Look how long it is. But as Kenda soon discovers, it's the victim herself that will provide the key to this investigation. They're down to here. So here I am, looking for the masked man. Top of my belly button. That's it's not so long. So let's get to what is Anyway, uh, Daryl's on his way home. He's was working at Pittsburgh today. I don't know if I told y'all. But yeah, he was working at Pittsburgh today. So, um, he's been gone all day. And... I talked to you guys. Earlier, I did my hair and then laid down and went to sleep. So... I'm watching Homicide Hunter. On TV. And this is how I put my hair up in the bun for right now. Anyway, I'm still doing planner shit. Because I was doing it earlier and I just woke up, so. Neighborhood canvassing. I absolutely love, 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 motherfucking love this layout from Happy Planner, the hourly. Y'all, I haven't even been using... Just as the neighborhood search seems hopeless, detectives encounter a woman with some new information. During our neighborhood follow-up, we reveal this guy. What if he could have done this crime in those in the area? I love it. this happy planner layout. What's more, locals have given another more sinister nickname. Let me set you on the other side. Who is this guy? We had information that he wore the military style camouflage pants and uniform, and since we had found that uniform in the neighborhood. This, my Aaron Condren, is now my life. Let me show you. So this is this week. I don't know if y'all seen it on my Instagram. But, not only that... I've already decorated next week. So. It looks so good. Detectives follow up on the lead, but quickly learn the suspect known as Homicidal Dave has an airtight alibi. Who we know where Dave is the night of the murder. Right here on. Absolutely. I haven't even posted yet friends, on my Instagram. Put it that way. So we can see the result. We were at the area of the But I will tell you this much. So we got a so we got an Instagram, I mean a Facebook, for the two of us. 
As he reads through Karen's description of how the killer shot Diane Hood, Kenda picks up on a telltale piece of evidence. She says she's quite clear um. about this. He shot her in the <laughs> Girls. He up trying to add Daryl. Well, it's mine and Daryl's page, and it says Nikki and Daryl Clark. There's a picture of us that says it's a boy for our son. And these girls keep messaging him, keep adding and trying to add him. I'm like, what is really going on here? Hold on, y'all. My camera, my phone is so fucking dirty right now. Oh, it's licking. <laughs> but yeah, I'm like, what is really going on? Like. So he turns to forensic evidence for additional clues. You don't see this? Oh, and I broke two nails. So tomorrow, I'm going to redo my nails. But, yeah, so. That's the deal. We'll see when Daryl comes home. I don't know. My girlfriend, Kayla, KK, and Doug are going to a carnival tonight. But we don't have any money, so we can't go. I want to go so bad, though. Not that I could ride anything, but... Still, it would still be nice to go somewhere and do something, but we don't ever have any money, so. Especially with me not working right now. But. Just gotta wait for my fucking background check to come back. Which I gotta check my email, so. I gotta go, but I will see y'all a little later this evening. Alright, bye. Hey guys, so it is like 8 o'clock, something like that. God, I need to dye my hair so fucking bad, it's ridiculous. But anyway, I did my hair straight earlier. Um, it's been a really bad day. I've been sick all day. I can't hear out of one ear. <laughs> can't breathe. I feel like I have to throw up all day. I just I feel sick. Daddy's over there watching. Weed stuff. Cannabis, you know. The shit he always watches. So, sorry I didn't vlog more today, but all I did was sleep all day. Um, the only thing I got done was my planners posting to IG, posting one picture to IG today. I didn't even really do my story. I took my nails off. I don't even care. I gotta go in and put... I made was making dinner and couldn't even make dinner. Like, I gotta go in and put the meat away. I tried to sit outside for a few minutes with him before I go away on the couch and watch TV because I'm so fucking sick I can't deal. I was like, you didn't even notice that I straightened my hair. And what'd you say? I saw it as soon as I got on the porch. Ugh. What are you doing hitting different ones and you hit pause? Okay, but catch the lighter. Oh, it landed where it was supposed to, huh? Um, yeah, so I just brought out a pen and a couple. A couple of these. Markers. The cheap-ass Tombos. Because I'm too cheap to buy Tombos. But anyway, we're about to go put away the food. My beautiful... Y'all, this has become my second favorite planner. In tie for first... Is my Aaron Contrin and my go getter. I love. It. I even like the. I don't even mind the plastic discs because I like those too. But this is my Stay Wild Girl with Goals. So this is this month. And then here's this week. I hope like we should be able to see it. It's hourly. I love hourly. And then I've already started doing August. So I've started to love, love, love this planner. <sighs> Colorful leopard. Anyway, I keep it in my binder, in my cover, my deluxe cover. I got for two bucks. I got two of them. Oh! That hurt. I'm gonna go and take a little bit of my methadone. Gummy. Kiss. Ooh. 
It's light. Go take a shower. Okay, that's a good thing, right? When your pot is light, okay, maybe they... Hey, what's going on there, I guys? Want some you jello. officially arrived at the 420 CN today. We're going to talk about how to fix slow growth on your plant. First, show some love and support by watching... I'm about to make some instant jello. Like, subscribing, and tapping the post notification bell to miss out on any future videos. Y'all are more than welcome to watch. <laughs> I was gonna make spaghetti, but Daddy brought home dinner. So he brought home um, pizza for dinner. Our camera that we're putting on our porch because people keep stealing from us. A certain person keeps stealing from us. God damn it! What the fuck? I'm sorry, y'all. Trying to set this up. Okay, there we go. Alright, I'm making some jello. Alright, I gotta find what kind I wanna make. Watermelon, ocean water. Ocean water sounds good to me. Okay. Basic directions. One and a half cups boiling water. Come on, Chi Chi! Under my fucking feet. Fucking dumbass cat. Fucking Nito, you don't have to move us. I'm gonna find something for that in. Well, I get the hot water going. <laughs> All right, one and a half cups boiling water, boiling water. I'll put the meat away so I can put it in my sauce. This is why I know a lot of people that grow auto flowers like to keep them on 24 hours. Where's the rest period, right? Got to have that rest period. Do not keep it on 24 hours. I don't like to. Some people are going to argue with me, but it is what it is. Now, if you grow indoors and suspect light exposure to be the source of stress, just decrease the light intensity or move the lamps further away from the canopy as possible. Kind of like what I said with the ceilings, if they're stretching, you're pretty much doing the opposite of that. Next is when your light cycle is interrupted. This is more of an issue for photo period plants. Light is essential for all plants to grow. Any changes in light intensity or exposure to the growth, flowering plants are especially susceptible to interruptions in the dark. Alright, this is for the spaghetti tomorrow. Daddy brought him pizza tonight. So. I'm gonna try to eat a piece. Just because I'm starving. Alright, as soon as my water boils, I'll be back to make the jello. Bye guys. Good morning guys. I'm feeling so much better today. Look at this. 
I have another fucking pimple and I can't deal with it. And it won't pop, so I don't know what to do. Oh, yes, I do. Wait a minute. I'm in the middle of doing my, you know, I, my, part of my morning routine consists of doing my planning. Okay, here we go. Let's go in. My hair is all fucked up right now. I'm watching Playing with Michelle and then my right now. Bird. I need to do, I don't know if it was this that caused it or what, but I need to get into my. That is better. And we'll put Brady back. But what can we put there? My, <laughs> like uh, my proactive shit again. I feel like I just need something right here. This baby boy is causing fucking pimples. Um, anyway, I gotta take my meds. Right now, two of these. Market, market list. Bill Fi. Which I told you guys they put me on. <laughs> I've been taking it since. I'll tell you how long I've had it. The 29th, I started taking it. I'll be in the garden. That's My Zoloft, which I've been taking since the 29th as well. It usually takes about a month to, to kick in, so I don't know if it's, I think it's working. Let me take this plan in the garden. Okay. I had to make sure it was all down. Oh shit, sorry guys. I did my dose. So that's good. Alright, so I feel like So I now Daryl is at work as usual. Here. And I have to check my email. I need to see something we could do. Um to see if my background check came back yet. Oh. <coughs> But right now, I was messing with my planner. Perfect. Yay! I'm just trying to get okay. these on. Perfect. And yes, I didn't give myself any space for pictures. I might build it. Well, I don't think so, but I tell my undated Erin Condren. I'm going to do another video where I work in my pictures. So we'll have to create some type of memory keeper. A memory, uh, memory keeper. Well, better twist the words. So let's there go. So, in here. I love this fucking Aaron Condren. Love it. I got to call and reschedule yes. the eye doctor because so Daryl oh will not be <laughs> back. All right, you guys. So don't forget if you did I do the thing in the beginning, but in case I didn't, if you like this, he will not be back tomorrow in time. To go to the island. Well, we'll see tonight. Don't forget to follow me at Plan with Michelle, but definitely if you're into this gardening and you're like me, but I might have to. Okay, there we go. I might have to call and cancel. So, but anyway. Alright, guys, I just gotta work on my planning and uh, we'll see y'all in a little later. I'm definitely feeling much better today, by the way. So, nothing exciting going on yet. Just waiting on them to tell me that I can start my job. <laughs> so, all right, guys, we'll see y'all later. Okay, so guys, I've started doing pregnant yoga. Hello, friends. Welcome to our gentle strength and tone class.
practice is perfect for anybody, no matter what trimester you are in. So first, second, or third, this is prenatal safe workout. However, even if you're not pregnant, you can also do this practice, whether you are recovering from an injury or maybe just looking for something a little bit more gentle to help you get back to your fitness goals. So in regards to props, we won't necessarily need anything today. However, if you do like a little bit more help with stability, especially if you are in your second or third trimester, I always recommend having a wall or a chair nearby so you can hold on to for anything standing. Otherwise, if you're ready to get started, grab your mat and let's begin. gentle child's pose. This is just going to give us the opportunity to reconnect with our bodies, with our breath, and kind of get ourselves ready to work, tone, and connect. So open up your knees nice and wide. Just give lots of space for your belly here. And then walk your hands forward. Now you can either rest your forehead on the mat or maybe your cheek. Maybe just look forward. Let's go ahead and close our eyes. Just take a couple of deep breaths. If you are at the end of your third trimester and you're feeling like your belly is just getting a little too in the way, you can always come onto your elbows like so. And just give yourself a little bit more space. Oops. Now, closing our eyes, we're just focusing on that deep inhalation. When you exhale, allow yourself to relax into this posture. Allow yourself to let go of any external distractions. Bring yourself into this present moment. And allow each breath throughout this practice today to bring you to that moment. Reminding you of where you are right now. And that all that matters is your own connection to your body, to your breath, to your baby. Exhale, let go. At this time, slowly we're going to roll ourselves up into our all fours position. And if your knees are super wide apart, just bring them a little closer together so they're about hip width apart at this time. Shoulders above your wrists. Let's just begin to make nice big circles with the body. So adding lots of movement into the shoulders, into your hips. And you can make this as fun as you like. So you can make the small, uh, the circle small, or you can make this fluid and dance like moving your body. I find, especially the third trimester, we start to feel really tense and stiff, especially in the back and the shoulders, just because of the changes that our body is going through, the extra weight that we're carrying at the front of our body. So really give yourself permission to just let go of all the little things. Oh my. Shit. Crack. And whenever you're ready, just crack it. The circle. So make this feel good on your body. You can add a little bit of head movement, maybe close your eyes so you can kind of stay connected to your breath, to your foot. Beautiful. Now coming back to neutral, coming back to center. Let's start with our first strengthening exercise. So what I'd like you to do is extend your left leg out, keep it there, and then reach your right arm towards the front of your mat. Now again, this is where you're gonna check in with yourself. Maybe for some people, you're at the very end of your third trimester and it's heavy and difficult for you to lift your leg, then you're just gonna hold it here. Perhaps if you're ready and comfortable, lift your back leg off the mat. I'm just gonna start by holding, finding that strength and awareness in the body. So not only... All right, guys, I'm having a rough time here. I'll see y'all when I'm done. 
<laughs> Y'all, I'm still I doing yoga. Our this bitch is so sitting on a block. Uh, I'm sitting on Again, if you my fucking glass jewelry box. Just hold up. Oh, she said like, remove it. Spine. And just hold yourself up. Hands down. Press and lift your hips up. Bring the toes in so the toes and the heels are parallel. Okay. Open. Relax your body to your wide forward fold. And then slowly move up. Remember we transition at a slower pace at this time. You don't want to make any jerky fast movements. So slowly make your way up. And move your arms. Give yourself up. a second to just catch your breath. To find your breath, to find that center, open your eyes, make sure you don't feel dizzy or anything. Sorry, I know y'all can only see the bottom here. Give yourself that moment, whatever you need. Look at her wiggy. Beautiful, relax the shoulders away from the ears. Inhale at this time, release the arms and reach both arms up to the sky. Just give yourself a yeah. nice lengthening stretch. And focus a little bit deeper and strengthening our lower body. So on your next exhalation, I would like you to bend your knees into Uttanasana chair, extend all the way up, lift your heels off the mat, and bring it down. That counts as well. Uh, so we come down. Down. Two toes. Up. That's two. Chair. Open. Yeah, I cannot do this. Heels. First three. Keep it going. Down. And up. Uh, lift. Four. Okay. Down. I think. Up. Lift. That's enough yoga for today, y'all. At least I look cute, lift. right? Six. Because mama can't breathe. Seven. We're almost there. Eight to nine. So, I'll put this back. Last one. <laughs> I need to clean up my house today anyway, which I will be live on IG doing later today, but as far as this goes, I'm done. Mama can't. I do have to water my plants, though, if y'all want to see. I'll be right back. I almost dropped y'all. I'm gonna flip y'all around so y'all can watch me. Water in the plants. I gotta get out and check on the plants in the garden. <clears throat> he wants me to bring those in about one o'clock. Come this way, guys. Come this way. Out the back. Or fucking watermelons. 
are crazy. Although I don't see any little watermelons yet. <sighs> Fuck. It's my basil, tomatoes. These are pumpkins. Can't even see my light anymore. All right, I watered my two. That's all I care about. I gotta come back out and uh, take his in. Fuck, I can't breathe, y'all. I need to write the clerks on there. Oh, we got the mail. not his fucking mailbox. Hold on, guys. This is not DeAndre's mailbox, so... I need to see if the neighbors have a cigarette. Sounds like they're outside. Yes, they're not. Huh. It's our grill. All right, I gotta go on the other side and ask Christy for a cigarette. So, uh, I'll see y'all later. Good morning, guys. Uh, sorry about not vlogging last night. He came home really late from work, and... You what? Oh, really? Are you sure you're going to be okay at work today? Probably not, but I have to. <sighs> yeah, I know, Daryl, but... We have an appointment anyway. You could have took today off. I would have had to get done time to find another person. We're on a fucking eight man roof. Who the hell was he going to find? Nick? Just somebody to fucking know. He was going to get some money from the fucking home city yesterday. It's fucking me drowning. So, sorry about yesterday, guys. Sorry about. Um, not vlogging last night, but he came home really, really, really late. Like, he didn't get home till, what time did he get home? Like, 8.30, 9 o'clock? Something like that. And I was really sick. So, that doesn't usually happen. We don't usually not vlog at night. So, right now, I'm doing my morning routine and taking my meds. Which he is very grateful for, because they've been working really well this week. Drinking my coffee. But other than that, oh, he's got three. Yeah, give me a couple of those. Thank you. But yeah, that's the plan for today. Some pregnant yoga, cleaning up the house, going live on IG later. Is that something that I want to do? Okay, so in the last so. one, which I have absolutely just. But anyway. I really, really, really want to use this painting in some kind of way. You don't see so many, like, you don't see a lot of this layout. I will see y'all when I'm like doing yoga. Like Bye, guys. You want to have so, a, hey, guys. Live calls. I got lipstick still on my mouth. I put it on the table. Yeah, I'm going to put it on the table. Yeah, I'm going to put it on the table. Yeah, I'm going to put it on the table. Yeah, I'm going to put it on the table. Yeah, I'm going to put it on the table. Yeah, I'm going to put it on the
this year. And Sorry that uh, this week's blog hasn't been very, you know. Else or several boxes. Um, just what I was gonna say. Another thing you can put in your like, sidebar is habit trackers. Oh ah, sorry, I'm watching. Here's an example. This is a habit sorry, it hasn't been very exciting. I've been very sick this week, so. Like, even today I'm sick. I was going to do a clean with me live, but I'm not even going to do that today. I can't. I'm sick. So sick. However, I will be posting this vlog. You could put that somewhere else. So so I will be editing and posting this vlog. Like that. Just section them off, you know, separately. So you think that will help. Another way to stay organized in your planner is to create lists. But I yeah, have lists um, for pretty much I don't everything. Know. I keep things are going in okay this week, I guess. Of my planner, so but far. I know that people keep them in different parts, and so. they even use different planners just to keep their lists in. So, like I said, I typically keep my lists in the back of my planner. I have a few lists back here that are there all the time. I have a weekend packing list to go to my boyfriend's house. Um, this is a Weight Watchers list that I don't really use anymore. I love, do need to start using it again. I love how it's Zero came out. Snacks. Um, I have a list of gift cards. I'm about to watch amounts. a Disney movie. I have some packing lists back here and some other lists. When I use these... Fuck this. <laughs> I gotta go in my Aaron Quandron. Which is my favorite planner right now besides my go get a girl daily and um check out some things but this will be edited tonight and it will be up tonight i'm gonna vlog one more time when daryl gets home and then put it up. My hair needs redone. I need a shower tonight, so. But that's what's on my list. I was going to clean up. However, I'm not tonight. I checked in my background check. Finally came back. Let's see if Orbeez calls me today. However, they should because there's nothing on it. It's recent, so. But, all right, guys. We'll see y'all later. Bye. Stay calm. You can call it a small fear. Oh, sorry. I'm just a little bit jumpy. What would it be best if we avoid ruffians and thugs, though? <laughs> yeah, that's probably best. Are you hungry? I know a great place for lunch. Uh, where? You'll know it when you smell All right, hey guys, sorry I didn't get to film um, again. And sorry that um, <laughs> I didn't get to put this up till today, but just some shit happened last night. I can't, I just, I can't talk about it right now. But anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed and uh, we'll see y'all next time on Sunday.